right, people, welcome back. More fake card friends. So wrapping up Roid Week, we are looking at a fake Roid card sent to me by my friend Mal. You guys already know Mal. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So today we are looking at Super Roid Fusion. So it is a quick play spell that reads, Fusion summon one fusion monster that requires a Roid Roids monster as fusion materials using cards in your hand and or field as fusion material. If none, banish monsters in your graveyard instead. So pretty much it's a miracle fusion for Roids, which wouldn't be terrible, which really wouldn't be terrible. You know, it seems like nowadays almost every fusion-esque archetype is getting some kind of powerful-esque fusion card, if not a miracle fusion, something that fuses from the deck. So if Roids got something that was sort of a miracle fusion, that'd be fine as well. So you use cards from your hand or field just like a regular um, fusion material, but if you have none, then you banish in your graveyard instead, which, you know, uh, it's not saying that you have to, but you kind of want to, so you don't, you know, use uh, materials or neg. You know, this, if you just use as a uh, Miracle Fusion esque, you even out. You know, you just use some of the monster and use this one card. But if you're using cards, of course, from your hand or field, that counts as resources that you currently have. So uh, hopefully it is worth it. But this card's not done. So. Monster fusion summoned by this card are unaffected by card effects for your next three turns. Wow, a whole whopping three turns of the fusion monster just being unaffected by card effects, you know? You know, you can fusion summon that monster after its effect. Nope, strike, a lot. nah, nah, you know? Uh, for a whopping three turns, that's a long time, that really is. So just the fact that you kind of tacked it on there just makes it, if this card was real, that you're definitely going to run this card just so the monster that you're fusion summon is not only the miracle fusion, but... Just a whopping three turns, just being unaffected by card effects. You can still get kaiju, of course, but uh, just the fact that you're, you know, just unaffected by spells, traps, monster effects, um, it's just really great. So, all right. Um, I'd say the one gripe with that, and maybe you should change it to unaffected by your opponent's card effect, is that you would be unaffected by your own card effects. So, let's say, for example, I use this card and fuse into my uh, mobile base my mobile base would be unaffected by the attacking switching effect of my fill spell, my Megaroid City. So, I don't know, maybe change it to unaffected by your opponent's card effects? Just a suggestion, just a suggestion. And last effect, if this card is in your graveyard, banish one Roid card and add this card to your hand. Now, that is super powerful. This is the fact that it's just a recurring card, you know? Uh, makes you want to just play Foolish Barrel with Belongs, especially when, you know, with the Red Roid card, this card is too. You just throw copies of Foolish Barrel's Belongs, you know, play that, send this, banish a Roid card, get this back from your freaking graveyard back to your hand, so it's kind of like just essentially searching for it. And uh, none of these effects are once per turn, so you can just keep on just fusing, banishing, grabbing back, fusing, banishing, grabbing back, so... And every single fusion monster that you would summon would be unaffected by card effects for the next three turns. So, this card is definitely powerful. You know, it seems like if it's in the hands of other fusion attack types, like maybe like Fuffles or Shadals, you know, they definitely blow it out of the water. But something like uh, Roids, who, you know, are known to be a weaker archetype, I mean, what's this? You were giving them a, you know, a nice, powerful, decent fusion card like this. So, uh, overall, not bad, man. Not bad. So, anyway... Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this fake card friend. Tell me what you guys think about Super Roy Fusion in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. As you guys know, YouTube, right now, it's just a hobby. Uh, I'm not nearly big enough or make nearly enough money to just quit my job and, you know, just do this full time. But, you know, while I'm doing this in between work, in between school, in between tutoring, in between life, uh, that I hope you guys understand and continue to uh, support and uh, watch my content. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content. All right, people, thanks for watching.